Welcome to WebStyle Press. We have got this WordPress setup. I'm at the local host. This is WordPress page. We have set up this page and this is short code from contact form 7. This is contact form 7 that is being used. Very simple form. It should send email. Test name test email and then test subject test message and submit ah there's an error okay so i do a lot of php and wordpress based work on localhost and then migrate to live if i have to check email i have to migrate code to live again and again to just check if email is working properly this is a time waste to avoid it our localhost should send emails to send emails from localhost or zamp we will have to configure zamp we have to configure zamp to send email via smtp we use G Gmail SMTP to send emails via ZAMP because Gmail is powerful and flexible. Basically create a separate Gmail account to only use SMTP because we will have to use a real email address and password for Gmail account in ZAMP settings. Now we will configure our ZAMP so that we can send this email from localhost and from WordPress without needing a live server. Okay, so go to ZAMP. I have installed ZAMP in my E drive. It's not in my C drive. Okay, from ZAMP, search for PHP folder. In PHP folder, search for php.ini. Open it in editor, code editor. And then search for SMTP. Edit SMTP settings. So this is SMTP. SMTP should be smtp.gmail.com and it should not be commented. Code or lines with semicolon are kind of comment. These will not work. There should not be a semicolon before the lines that we are using. So SMTP should be smtp.gmail.com. Then we have got SMTP port. It should be 587. That is for Gmail. Then we have got send email from this should be your email address real gmail address and then we have got send mail underscore path this should be path to this file send mail dot exe it will be in your zamp folder zamp send mail to zamp send mail and we have got this send mail dot exe this path should be correct now go to send mail folder and then uh, open send mail dot ini file in code editor and here you will see smtp underscore server this should be smtp dot gmail dot com and then here also we have got smtp underscore port there should be 587 then we have got error dot log this file and then debug dot log this is debug underscore log file you can change the name for these files these will log issues and errors in case email is not being sent very helpful in debugging next we have got auth underscore username this should be your gmail username or email address and then auth underscore password this should be your real password for gmail account then we have got force underscore sender you can use your email address that we, that you will use here but this is optional this is not necessary so i will not use it and that's it change these settings and save these files and that's it Zamp should be able to use your Gmail account to send email from localhost. When I used it at first time, it didn't work. For security reasons, Gmail will reject this configuration. There is another step involved. This is our Gmail account and this is Google. We are logged into our Gmail account. Turn on a less secure app access from Google account settings. Let me say it again. 
Google account settings and not Gmail account settings. While you are logged into Google or Gmail account, go to Google, click at this icon. Click at manage your Google account. Go to security tab and then scroll down. Find this less secure app access, turn it on. Now email will be sent successfully. Let's try this by using WordPress. So this is our form. Let's refresh it now. I have configured XAMPP and I have used correct email and password there for my Gmail account. So uh, here is the name. Let's use WSP. Email test WSP at the rate of server.com. This is a random email. It doesn't exist by the way. Subject this is test subject. This is test message so now let's submit this email and as you can see thank you for message it has been sent gmail refresh and we have got this email this is test subject from wsp test wsp at the rate of server.com subject this is test subject and this is test message so we received this email successfully and we submitted this form uh, from WordPress by using localhost and by using XAMPP. And if email is not being sent, go to send mail folder in XAMPP. Check for text files having a name starting with the crash. Do you see these text files named as crash1, crash2 and so on? These files will give you a clue about why email is not being sent. Username and password not accepted. Also check error.log file located here in send mail folder. Username and password not accepted. When I turned on less secure apps access in SMTP email account from Google settings, this error was gone. SMTP email account that we are using is allowing less secure apps. That is why we should use a separate email account for just this purpose to use SMTP settings. So crash text files and error.log will help you debug the issue. Your SMTP configuration should be correct and it should send emails. Okay, use this configuration and next time does not matter the text tag. If it's using XAMPP, emails will be sent from localhost. Cool. I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.